attacks. This symbol is known in the West as the yin yang. In actuality, the proper name of this symbol is the Tai Chi, or Grand Ultimate. This is the same term as in Tai Chi Chuan, or Grand Ultimate Fist. Yin and Yang combine to form the Tai Chi. This represents the dualism that underlies Taoist philosophy. Yin and Yang can represent many contrasting concepts, such as light and dark, hard and soft, or male and female. When considering the weaknesses within all human bodies, the concept of yin targets is all important. Yin targets reside in shadow, specifically the throat, the armpits, and the groin. Each of these targets are structural openings in the body where major arteries, veins, and nerves are exposed. Kung Fu fighters will aim for yin targets when they wish to inflict permanent damage. Beyond yin targets, the human body has many more weak points. Many of these points are based on the theory of qi flow. Qi is the vital energy of the body, and it flows through the body along paths called meridians. These meridians are associated with different organs and have various points, which are what acupuncturists stimulate with their needles. It is believed that illness is caused by improper flow of qi, and the needles, or even direct pressure, can remove these blockages and restore balance and health. Some of these points are large enough to be vulnerable to digital pressure or striking, which can severely disrupt the qi flow. These same points that can be used for healing can be used destructively. Many of the great Chinese martial artists of the past worked as healers for their primary source of income. They could use their knowledge of ways of the body to heal or harm. Deep knowledge of qi na can be used towards healing. With a complete understanding of how the joints of the body work, qi na experts could realign joints similar to chiropractic adjustment. These healers were known as bone setters and were sought after for all sorts of cures and therapies for a host of different maladies. Kung Fu is taught in sets, or movement sequences similar to gymnastic routines. This is a snake set of Hungar Kung Fu. Concealed within these movements are numerous pressure point attacks. If you practice pressure points with a partner, go very slowly. Pressure points can be very painful, and if this is practiced without caution, serious injury can result. Students must practice prudence with the underlying realization that in a real fight, there would be no holds barred. In the following demonstrations, the movements are slowed down so that they do not cause any lasting damage and can be demonstrated clearly to the viewer. While viewing these techniques, always keep in mind that the effect of surprise and the velocity of the attack make all the difference in a real-life confrontation. In actual combat, the elements of timing and velocity are crucial. This point is named Neguan, or pericardium 6. It is located on the palmar side of the forearm, above the crease of the wrist, between the two tendons of the wrist. Neguan means inner gate, referring to its location on the inner arm and its position as connecting the pericardium meridian to the triple burner meridian. To counter a high punch, block first, deflecting your opponent's fist to his inside. Seize his wrist and press the point with your thumb. Rotate and extend his arm, bringing his shoulder to the floor.
This technique will work as an arm lock without using the pressure point. However, using the pressure point will inflict more pain. To counter a low punch, block in the same manner except point your fingers down instead of up. Your hands will be on opposite sides of your opponent's arm instead of the same side. Press the point with your thumb and pivot your body to twist his arm, locking his shoulder with your shoulder. In this lock, you, can tr you control your opponent's shoulder, elbow, and wrist while working his pressure point and pulling him off balance. This point is named Shosan Li, or large intestine 10. It is located on the radial side of the dorsal surface of the forearm. Shosan means arm three. Li is a unit of measurement. This name references its location, three li from the elbow, and its symmetry to a different acupuncture point named tsusan li on the leg. To counter a low punch, block first, then seize your opponent's wrist and forearm. Press down on the point, then twist his arm back, keeping his elbow extended. Twisting and locking his arm controls his wrist, elbow, and shoulder simultaneously. Grab his elbow with your palm so that your thumb is on the point. By twisting his arm back, you can bring his body forward, upsetting his balance. Block his punch with your palms first. Then wrap your fingers around his arm for the grab. Blocking with your fingers before your palms can injure your fingers. To counter a high punch, first grab his fist from the top. Grab his forearm with your free hand so that your palms are on either side of your opponent's arm. Use your middle finger to press the point while bending his elbow. In this technique, pull his wrist down and to the side as you keep his elbow up. Your hands end palms up, controlling his forearm by the wrist and elbow. This technique uses Shosan Li and Hei Gu, or large intestine four. Hei Gu is located on the back of the hand between the bones of the thumb and first finger on the radial side of the midpoint of the second metacarpal bone. Hegu means converging valley, describing the shape of this point in relation to the bones of the hand. Alternatively, martial artists will call this point hukau, or tiger's mouth. To counter a grab to your collar, first seize your opponent's hand, pressing the point with your thumb. Bring your other hand to his forearm, pressing the next point with your other thumb. Twist his arm inwards, bringing your shoulder to his shoulder, pulling him off balance. Press deeply on these points to loosen his grip. Pivot your whole body to twist his arm, pulling him over your shoulder. Keep your arms in front of you throughout the twist. This technique could work without the pressure points, provided you could break your opponent's grip. When correctly executed, you gain control of his arm at the hand, wrist, and shoulder, plus inflict pain with the pressure points. This technique uses Hegu, Haoshi, and Chisi. 
Haoshi, or small intestine 3, is located between the light and dark skin along the onar border of the hand. Haoshi means backstream, referring to its location and shape. Chisi, or lung 5, is located in the depression of the radio side of the tendon of the biceps muscle of the upper arm. Chisi means shallow marsh, referring to its designation as a water point on the lung meridian. To counter a grab to your collar, first seize your opponent's hand, pressing both of the points of his hand. Grab his forearm with your other hand so that both of your palms face each other, pressing the third point with your finger. Twist and extend his arm, pushing it down to the floor.